spillways and stuff. What is going on? You dirty old stash bags. It's me, the local dirt hole spillway fisher. And uh, just walked up to this spillway and it doesn't look good. You guys keep asking me how I find these good spillways. I walk up to about 10 of these before I ever find a good one. So it's not every day that there's a good one. It's usually about one out of five actually has some big fish. All of them have fish, but it's just trying to find the ones that have big fish. So this looks terrible. I should probably leave, but instead, since I'm stubborn and I'm stupid and I just walked a mile to get here, I'm gonna try to catch something. I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but I'm not gonna give it too long. There's another spillway down the road and there's a creek. So I'm not gonna waste too much time here, but come along with me. Hopefully we can at least catch something, anything besides Lyme disease. Let's do this. There's like a dead koi fish. I was worried it'd be dried up. Instead, it's flowing too damn hard. Gonna have to get out the big jig heads for this one. Well, let's give it a dangle. Got something. Dirty old bullhead. I came to this spillway for one reason, and that's because word on the street is uh, a couple years ago there was a bunch of uh, this dude's big brother, the flathead, that lived in this dirty puddle. But I also heard a lot of people kept him and took him home, so I don't know if there's any left. But a bullhead's a good sign, I guess. It's kind of like a flathead. Kinda. That's big. Whatever that is, that's big. Channel Kitty. Feels so much bigger in the current. All right, I know it's not huge, but we got two catfish species knocked off. Now we just need a flathead. Come on, little Timmy. Come on. Cool. A little channel kitty. Ah! Bye. For being a really, really chocolate milk, poopy, heavy flowage, Poop puddle spillway, the first five minutes have not been bad. I almost didn't even make a cast. Kind of a downgrade from what we have been catching, but uh, I don't know. It's a new spillway and has fish in it, so I'm cool with it. Now we just need a flathead or something bigger. Let's go down over here and try. Even though I'm not sure it makes a difference. I had something. Got something again. Little channel kitty. This is just like the baby catfish hole. Like the song. We gotta upgrade. Might have to use one of those little guys' as bait. Seems like get less snags over here. Also get less bites, but definitely less snags. Another bullhead. 
Might have to come down here and use these guys as bait. <clears throat> I, of course, didn't bring a catfish pole, though. Definitely seems to be a catfish-infested little shit puddle. That's for sure. I think I just had another one. That's bigger. Oh no. Oh. There's carp in here. They just don't want to eat. Wasn't a small scale either. You think the fish are traumatized from all this water? Bet that carp was just living a happy little life in a spilling way. And now it's raging, so he has to sit over there in that corner. That one ate it. <clears throat> a little yellow belly. You give me my nightcrawler back, Billy. Ow. 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 Little bastards have some teeth. All right. I think I've seen about enough. Make a couple more casts and then it's another spillway down the road. Fishing is about making adjustments. I don't think there's many adjustments to make here. Besides using bullhead as bait, but I don't have time for that. I kind of called it. Caught some decent fish though, but this spillway kind of sucks balls. Comment down below if I should come back and A, use bullhead as live bait because there's supposed to be flatheads in here. It's supposed to be. Or B, come back, keep some damn bullheads and eat them out of this dirt puddle. And you should know that option B, there's potential I might die. But, like I said, I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm gonna go to another little spilling way, see if we can't catch something big. By big, I mean, at this point, over five pounds. The whole goal is always a double digit or something, but we'll take, we'll take something decent. And uh, yeah, let's do this. One last long walk. One last shot at greatness. I'm running out of light. Gonna have to make shit happen quick. Hallelujah, holy shit. That looks glorious. First impressions, 10 out of 10. Looks big, looks deep, it's flowing, but there's slack water spots. If we can't catch something in the half an hour we have, I'm gonna be shocked. I think I just saw a carp. Yep, I just saw a carp. A big one too. We're gonna have to probably catch something other than a carp though, because I'm pretty sure they're spawning. Which makes them pretty hard to catch. They will bite, but. Doesn't help the cause. Oh, I just got bit. This looks fantastic. There is a lot of big stuff swimming around. That did not look like a carp either. That almost looked like a walleye. This looks great. I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm also gonna piss in it. I am catching my first fish while I'm peeing. Oh, I lost him. Oh no, he's still there. We're gonna get innovative here, boys and girls. I don't have any weight, so. I'm gonna put the damn green sunfish on the jig. See if I can't get a predator. This is one of those times I really wish I had more time. <clears throat> We're just gonna have to set this guy up. Good luck, Billy. <clears throat> Definitely a lot of small fish. Seen a lot of big fish though too. Oh, there it is. What is it? Oh, it's a drum! Hell yeah! 
I haven't caught a damn drum out of a spillway yet. Pa pow! Look at that pretty little dude. So fat! I haven't caught a drum forever. I'm gonna make a video just about this damn drum. Cool. I got way too excited. People hate drum. But I like drum. Drum are legit. And I don't catch very many of them anymore. I used to a lot. I love this place. I haven't even caught anything big, but there's shit going down. Like, what is that? There's like top water bites going on over there. Screw that last spillway. This spillway is the deal. Minus these guys. The green sunfish can go to hell where they came from. What is that? It's a damn crappie. And a decent crappie. This is the gift that just keeps on giving. I swear to God. It's a damn white crappie. That is badass. My day is made. I hit 20,000 subscribers today too. I'm not sure what I'll be at when this video goes up, but I just want you bastards to know that I love you. Thanks for everything means the world and stuff oh god that thing thumped it whatever it is oh my gosh those are some decent crappie that is sick badass this one is really a spillway that I'm impressed by and I've fished a lot of spillways There's all sorts of cool shit in here. See if we can get a walleye or something. I got something. Seemed to have bit it too, first cast. Oh my god. It's a, oh, it's a big buffalo. Is it hooked in the mouth? It's a damn buffalo hooked in the mouth. In the damn mouth. Another new species for my spillway adventures. Okay, maybe, I felt like it hit it. I don't think it's hooked in the mouth though. <clears throat> Sound like dad. Sweet. New species. I'm not sure what the hell it even is. Pretty sure it's a big mouth buffalo. But comment out down below, I could be wrong. It's either a big mouth buffalo or a small mouth buffalo. <gasps> Tell you one thing for sure, it's a dickhead. This thing soaked me. And it soaked you guys. Sorry. Pretty sure that damn thing swiped at it because it was on the fall and pulled the line tight itself, but we won't get into technicalities and stuff. That ate it. Crappie on the lipless. That one's in the mouth. I think hammered it. Whatever it is. Jeez! Big ass bluegill. It's a badass looking bluegill too. This is just literally the gift that keeps on giving. Comment down below, do you wanna see it next time? Cause I guarantee there's something giant in here and I'm not sure if I'm gonna catch it today. So your answer is probably obviously gonna be probably maybe yes. That sentence didn't make any sense, but you get what I'm saying. Give it about 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna go home to Boo. Tell her about my day. All right, let's try the night crawler. 
one more game, and then we're leaving. And then we're coming back tomorrow. Maybe. Definitely. I don't know, but we're coming back sometime. I can guarantee you that. I can feel a tick on my butt cheek. Told ya. He was getting ready to attach too. Oh God. That was very, very large. Straighten my hook out. I'll miss you, spilling way. I'll miss you. Well, it wasn't a damn barn burner, but it sure as shit was better than I expected. I fished all morning with Dad, and it went terribly. I went home and I powdered for a while, and I came back out. So even though it was a small victory, it was still a victory in my book. Hooked a fish that straightened my hook. Caught the big buffalo, kind of. Caught some crappie, bluegill, everything. Caught like eight different species in two little dirty spillways. I don't know how much I'm gonna actually put in of the first spillway, because it wasn't very good, but yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a good day. I'm gonna be coming back. Comment down below if you wanna see me come back, I mean, but I'm gonna be coming back anyway. But yeah, I gotta get home, it's getting late. I'm not even sure if you can see my face. I'm not even sure if there's audio on this damn thing, because I got a new camera. Thanks to you guys. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. I definitely appreciate it. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I appreciate you guys watching all of them. I'm truly humbled. It's my passion. It's what I like to do. And you guys are helping me do it more. But I'm getting too damn sentimental. And I got a, about a mile walk and I got to drive home. So thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. See y'all very soon. HD stash with a nice camera. Pop out.